Hello, hello. How are you doing? It's Rich with Pitlanes.com and today I'm driving the new Ford GT GT3 which is sort of I think it's sort of a made up thing. They've probably got some real data from somewhere. I don't know. Um, I'm giving this a go as a matter of priority because I love the Ford GT. Um, not that I've driven it in a while. Um, but it's been added to iRacing's now somewhat massive list of GT3 cars which now includes the McLaren MP4-12C GT3, BMW Z4 GT3 um, and the roof track which incidentally has had its own updates this build um, to bring it in line with FIA homologation guidelines so hopefully everything should be even better balanced than it was everything seems to have um, their fuel tanks balanced and all that good stuff just thought I'd give this a little go though if you're an iRacing member you'll know that this build has taken well I think it's approaching ten and a half hours or something to deploy and reach any form of stability keep getting oversteer there so I just figured I'd get in, get in the seat and record a video and get it out there so people can have a gander um, ooh, AstroTurf Slippery if you already own the Ford GT then you'll get this for free they're just giving you it um, but otherwise uh, I, think, I think if you uh, I guess if you buy the Ford GT you'll get this bundled in with it which is quite a good deal if that is the case but it drives well I'm, I'm just on the baseline I've put the brake bias more forward because it was giving me a fair bit of oversteer in certain areas of the circuit but that's always a personal thing for me most people who share sets with me and whatnot seem to like a lot more rear bias than me it is what it is it's just a personal taste thing I like to have a really stable rear end coming into corners certain times it's nice to have them somewhat pointy you know but generally I like as much stability as possible with a with a bit of oversteer through the corner I prefer oversteer to understeer to control to be honest but obviously I'm driving around circuit of the Americas and I think I'm in a minority there as well because I bloody love this circuit and a lot of people don't they always complain it looks like a parking lot but I say so be it if it's for driver safety do what you need to do I enjoy the circuit because it's got a bit of everything so and it's got a good few passing opportunities really so why not so I was just going to do maybe one more lap and then give you an external view of that lap like I'll shut up and do a fast lap kind of thing and uh, yeah
was crap. Here, though. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I'm going to do a video on the V8 shortly, um, but until next time, I shall see you soon. Take it easy.